Hey guys, um, welcome back to Hammer Paints. Um, I haven't been painting for a while, hadn't done any videos for a while as well. Um, basically, just spending Christmas with the family and everything. I had to relocate my painting studio um, into a different room of my house. Um, that took friggin' ages, the amount of shit that I accumulated everywhere. But uh, I'm settling down now. I'm going to continue painting my towel. This is just um, one part of an apocalypse setup that I'm going for at the moment, um, which requires nine um, uh, crisis suits, stuff like that. Um, can't remember the full details of it. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a look, um, uh, look around my new studio. Um, this guy here, I just modelled him as he's going for a big sprint, taken off, ready to nail something. Um, this is me commander, I'll be painting him next. Um, and this guy's sort of hovering in mid-flight type thing, sort of just starting to take off, launching forward. The big landing dude. Um, but yeah, um, I got my sky ray. Um, <clears throat> I've finished magnetising. Um, all the little missiles, so when it shoots one, um, those who play tell will know anything about it. Um, basically, that once you fire off one missile, it then becomes useless. You can't shoot that missile again. Um, so I magnetised them all so it can um, for the effect. You don't have to worry about dice and all that sort of crap sitting behind your tanks and stuff. Saying, "Oh yeah, I've got five, four, three, whatever." Um, just basically count your missiles. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> down here, uh, this is my painting box, um, so basically, um, everything, all my paints are in here, let's have a look, so basically this is my, this is my work box, this is what I work out of, as you can see I've got probably just about every friggin' Citadel colour in the range. I've got green stuff, I've got some friggin' some bases. This is by a company called Back to Basic. Um, they're an Australian company, I think they're situated in Adelaide. They do fantastic bases if you're an Australian hobbyist. They're really well worth looking at. Not to mention you can also get your magnets and stuff from them too if you're into that sort of stuff. Um, uh, this is a row of 50 tiny, tiny little magnets. Um, that's basically what I use to pin all my weapons and stuff on crisis suits. Um, all my Tyranid stuff. Let's have a look a bit deeper. So basically I've got a lot more paints. A bit of carn effects, I've got some varnish, I've got some decals happening, some bases, all sorts of shit in here, man. Uh, my Thousand Suns army that hasn't been finished, it's like a four year project or some bullshit. No. <laughs> Just, yeah, keep finding new projects. And, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, all me. me Basing materials, different static grasses and flocks and whatnot. I've got flock over here, I never use it. Um, Ozzy Osbourne ticket. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought you might be interested just having a quick squiz at that. It's nothing too special, it's just I thought I'd make a video, show you guys what I've been up to. But of late, I've been painting a lot of Flames of War stuff, um, commission work. Oh, I've been doing bloody. Grenadiers and a couple of Soviet um, teams, so but I'm getting back into 40k now. Um, I do find myself doing a lot of commission work. Basically, it's uh, friend, a lot of friends' commission work. Basically, they buy the models, they supply me the paints, and I paint them for free. I don't charge me mates to paint them, but um, so I've got a Necron Lord I've got to do, and a C10 or Deceiver coming up so I might even do like a little tutorial flash thing how to paint type thing but um, this guy here I think um, now that I've got some time now works over and for a little bit um, I think I might paint him 
paint this guy out for you and just show you how I do my commander. Basically I'll do him the same color scheme as this type of effect, but he will have more of uh, the the codex, the Space Wolves grey head and make him a little different, make him a little little bit uh, more battle worn. You know, I would always say a commander was one in battle would be just a machine, so he's going to have a lot of dints and um, all that sort of crap on him, scratches, cuts, bullet holes, you name it. I'm sure he's seen a lot of war, hence that's why he's a commander. So yeah, um, but cheers guys, I just thought I'd do that and give you a bit of a quick insight. I'll um, see you in the new video.